Hello everyone. Today, I'd like to take a few moments to tell you about our product. On 35100 series high performance small size bidirectional programmable DC power supply. And 35100 series power supply adopts the standard one you height and half 19 inch width, 19 inch width design, single power up to 7.5 kilowatt, with the features of high power density, source and load integration, multi function. It can be widely used in DC DC module photovoltaic energy storage, electromechanical motor drive, and other industries. The front panel includes power switch, screen, function buttons, numeric buttons and knobs, and the operation interface is convenient, easy to use. The rear panel provides rich communication and control interfaces. Standard LAN, RS-232, RS-585, CAN, standard analog and digital I.O. interfaces, and supports user remote programming and control. It supports 4Y measurements which eliminates voltage drop of test cable. Taken 3517580170, and 70, for example. First, high power density. This model integrates 80 volt, 170 ampere, 7.5 kilowatt up. I put in a standard 1U height and 19 inch width chassis, which can effectively save test space. Second, source and load integration, regenerative energy with the integration of power supply and regenerative load. And 35100 series bidirectional power supply can be converted continuously seamlessly between the output and absorb current. It can not only provide external power, but also absorb power and return electric energy to the grid cleanly. The regenerative efficiency up to 90% to realize energy saving. Third, multifunctional, rich application scenarios. And 35100 supports PV simulation, battery simulation, car wave, charging and discharging modes, etc. Let's begin with the product operation demonstration. Upon powering on, and 35100 defaults to the power mode interface, where users can set the voltage, source current, source power, load current, and load power. At this point, if you connect the battery to the positive and negative of the N35100, it will perform the following actions based on the initial voltage of the battery. If the initial voltage of the battery is higher than 10 volt, the N35100 will discharge the battery. If the initial voltage of the battery is lower than 10 volt, the N35100 will charge the battery. The N35100 will automatically switch between sourcing and loading based on a comparison between its own voltage and the product's voltage. When the N35100 series is set to load mode, it can absorb power as a load end. At the same time, return excess electrical energy back to the grid, achieving the goal of energy conservation and emission reduction. In charge mode, the N35100 is actually used as a source to charge the device on the test, compared to the normal mode. Charge mode has for additional termination conditions, Stop voltage, stop current, stop capacity, and charge time. When any of these conditions are met, the device will stop working. In discharge mode, the N35100 is actually used as a load to discharge the device on the test, compared to the normal mode. The discharge mode has three additional termination conditions, stop voltage, stop capacity, and discharge time. 
When any of these conditions are met, the device will cease to operate. The Young 35100 series comes standard with SEQ test, which allows users to set parameters for each test step, with a maximum 1,000 test steps, meaning the testing requirements for scenarios such as cyclic aging. In SEQ Edit, you can edit the step and save the file number. For example, 1. Then, enter the SEQ test. Set the file number to 1 and press the on to start running according to the previously edited test steps. The ON35100 series comes standard with automotive waveform simulation built in six standard waveforms to meet the requirements of various standards, such as ISO 16750, 2 and LV1-4. The UN35100 series comes standard with photovoltaic simulation and battery simulation functions. You can click on the software operation video. For UN35100 software operation, click Hardware Configuration, then find Devices. Select and save the configured subnet. Click Online to enter the main interface, which includes data chart, echo information, parameter configuration, and start recording. The data chart displays real-time voltage, current, and power. The echo information area shows real-time voltage, current, power, temperature, ampere hour, watt hour, and power supply status. Parameter configuration allows quick access to set parameters for respective modes. Mode, click Start Recording before testing. Click Power Mode to set parameters. Click Refresh Parameters, then On. The power outputs 20 volts. When a load is connected, it draws 10 amps constantly, and the power enters source mode. If the external voltage exceeds the set value, the power automatically switches to load mode. The voltage can be adjusted during drawing. Click Refresh Parameters. Set Charging Voltage, Current, and Voltage and current, and capacity, and time. Click Refresh Parameters. Click on. Charging stops when any ending condition is met. Set Discharging Current, Discharging Power, and Voltage, and Capacity and end time. Click Refresh Parameters. Click on. Discharging stops when any ending condition is met. Simulated internal resistance can simulate a power supply with internal resistance. For example, when connected to a 50 volts power supply with an internal resistance of 0 0.1 ohm, the voltage is 50 volts under the load startup. When the load draws 10 amps, there will be a 1 volts voltage drop due to the internal resistance. So the readback voltage will decrease by 1 volts. When the load draws 20 amps, the readback voltage will decrease by 2 volts. A constant resistor can be used as a light. Set the external power voltage to 30 volts. Set configure resistance, max current, and max power. With 10 ohms, click refresh, click on. 
the red back current is negative 3 amps. At 5 ohm, click refresh. It becomes negative 6 amps after refreshing parameter. There are four alert modes, CC, CV, CR, and CP. Each mode can be configured with corresponding parameters. SE key mode, select 10 files. Click Edit. In the Edit step, you can add steps. The added process steps can be exported to an Excel file. You can also import an edited Excel file. Then submit. Click on to monitor sequence execution in the echo area. It works as both source and lard. The car waveform meets the requirements of ISO 167502 and LV12 for standards, with six built in waveforms. For example, to the S016750 2, second level selection short drop, three level selection 12 volts. Refresh parameters, then click on and trigger wave. Step, set normal voltage at 1 volt. Source and load currents at 10 amps. Power at 1000 watts. Mode as voltage. Trigger mode as continuous. One cycle. Start voltage at 5 volts. Final at 50 volts. Increment 3 volts every 2 seconds. After refreshing and clicking on, the echo area shows 1 volt. Triggering the waveform increases voltage by 3 volts every 2 seconds until 50 volts. Then it returns to 1 volt. Wave, choose 10 waveform files. Click Edit to enter Wave Edit. If the file has 6 steps, set them and click Submit. Set start voltage to 20 volts, along with source, load current and power. Click on to see 20 volts in the echo area. Trigger the waveform to execute the six steps. Unlike sequence mod with fixed step times, the voltage here changes over the set waveform time. After execution, it returns to the start voltage. Any wipe, choose three waveforms. Set normal voltage, source and low current, power, modize voltage. Select a sine wave file. Set amplitude, bias, phase, frequency. Click refresh, click on to enter normal voltage. Then trigger waveform for sine wave output. Advanced, links multiple AnyWipes with 10 selectable files. Click Edit to set step length for each AnyWipe waveform.
Stop recording after testing. Test data can be viewed in a historical data and exported to Excel.